what I'm doing. We're making a really, really cute, easy painting as a Halloween shirt. Um, let's, let's just tilt down. See if I can't tilt you down. Um, all right. So the brand I have, I got at Hobby Lobby. It's called Fabric Creations. Let's see if it's, yep, it's the right way for you. And I've got three colors. I've got a black, I have the white, and I have um, a purple, African violet it's called. And this is soft fabric ink. So I don't know if you want to screenshot it. I got it for $2.49 a bottle. So if you want to screenshot, you can see that. That's what I'm using. It stays nice and soft. All right, so we're going to start off, though. I've, I've got a permanent marker. This is not necessarily permanent all the time on fabric, but I'm using it, and then I'm going to paint over it. It gives me a base. It's easy, easy drawing. And I'm just going to shift it a little bit as we go. All right. All right, I just feel you can see more this way. Sorry about that. I hit a wrong button when I did it. All right, so again, permanent marker. Um, so the next one I'm going to do is going to be, let's get my paint out of here. The next one I'm gonna do is from this line, and I'm let's get my paintbrushes out of the way. From this line over here, I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to slant it right onto this, guys. All right, so we got that and that. Now we're going to do another line slanting um, this way. We're going to just start down here and slant it up to here. And if you want to use something that washes out, go ahead and do that. This this will wash out some, but not completely. All right, so then this one, I'm gonna start here and draw across onto the sleeve again. And then we're gonna do another one here. And it's okay that it's doing that on the fabric. It, it's okay. So are we still good? Are we, are we still good? Keep on commenting. Let me know you're out there. All right. Where are, you, where are you from? We're in Wisconsin, and we have the most beautiful weather again today. I think it's going to be record highs um, of uh, 80 again today. All right. We're going to slant that one down there. Let's shift this up. We're gonna do another one. Let's just start over here. And you know, this is so abstract that if you don't get it all the way to the side, it's not a big deal. Do that one. Then we're gonna come down and do some. Now the paper's in there more importantly for when we start painting on it, which we're gonna do in just a moment. Okay, we're gonna do over this way. Has anybody seen this shirt and you're trying to figure out how to do it yourself? I love the shirt, but it was not in my size. All right, and then you could carry on and do into the sleeves if you want, but for right now, we're gonna just do this. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do is draw eyes. All right, and if you want, cut paper out and trace around them. I'm just gonna try and eyeball the eyes. Eyeball the eyes, all right. And I'm just going to do two lines like that. It doesn't matter if they're the same. All right, those are my eyeballs. That's all I'm drawing on. The rest I'm going to do with paint. Okay, we're going to start with the white. It's going to be like a mummy. Yes, it's going to be like a mummy. It's really, really cute. So you can see it's a little thicker. Not all of it, though. The black is not thick, and I don't think the purple is as thick. And I'm just using a regular paintbrush. Um, we're going to start with this one. 
and I'm going right up. Now we are going to be going over every black line with the fabric paint because I don't know that this permanent marker will stay, stay permanent when you wash it. So you could also use fabric pens so that um, if you for sure want it to wash out, go ahead and do that. Um, all right, let's get my paper towel and we're going to start the black. I actually think we can use that the same brush. Thank you for passing me on, Teresa. I appreciate it. All right, let's get the black. And, and you know what? If you get speckles in places, it's okay. We're going to speckle it at the end, too. All right, this is just the plain black, then. This one is a little more runny, which I don't mind either. You can see it's a it's a little runnier. So I'm going to start over here and we're just going to carry it across. And I actually just dropped the drip on the white, which is okay. Again, we're going to splatter it when we're all done. I think with black and maybe a little of the purple. But this is the only one we're filling in completely this section around the eyes we are going to go over the lines with this also but if you feel more comfortable with a fabric marker go ahead and use a fabric marker on the lines all right and i'm just going to i like that other brush but we'll see about using this one on here going to go across each line is going to end up going across that's why if those if your marker that you used is not permanent it's okay we're going across everything when we're done um, we'll do that after also going to do on the outside of this eye just to make that a little more prominent there okay, and we're going to carry across the bottom here So you want every line to be covered with the black. All right, and then we're just going to go start in here again. See where this is going? You have Tulips Fabric Paint. This is fab, um, Fabric Creations. So if you want a screenshot, if you came on late, um, it's Fabric Creations and it's Soft Fabric Ink. Okay, there's another Fabric Creations next to it, and that was more for leather and stuff like that. Hello, Norma. Hello, Mary. All right. So let's just go and do this one. And I'm going to do these lines right away so I don't forget them. Check this over. Like I said, we can, you can definitely see what you're painting on. It's okay if you don't even stay on that straight line if you go off the line perfectly fine we're we're making a sloppy mummy here let's go back now we're going to get our little little brush out and i'm going to go to the purple hello kathy well welcome pam all right, this is African purple, I think. And we're just going to do two circles. Again, if you feel more comfortable using fabric pens, go ahead and do that. Just painting that in. And they don't have to be perfect to each other. Make it cute. Make it make it really cute. Okay. And if you do end up going over where you don't want, just paint over it again. Make that a little bigger. All 
All right. All right. Just gonna dry that up a little bit. We're gonna, all right. Let's go back to the black now. And we're gonna do just an oval. Looking to see if I'm probably getting paint all over my arm. Okay, we got that. I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know what, I think we're going to age first before I put the lettering in the spider. So let's go ahead and dry this a little bit. And we're going to start aging some of it. We're going to dip into the white. Let's see, can you even see where I am here? We're going to dip into the white, and then we're going to dip just a little in the black, and we're going to stir that up there, and it's giving you a gray. Maybe a little more white, just whatever color you like, and it's not nothing, nothing perfect. All right. And I'm just going to put some in some of the corners, do it along on the edges. It's okay if it gets in the black lines. It's okay if now you're going to see when I go along here, if that shirt wrinkles up as you do it, it makes really a neat effect. You could do it like some on this collar. Like that. I'll just step back in, Let's just add some more in. And this is going to go a long way. And look at that effect that it gets. Can I think you can see where with the shirt moves some. That's perfectly fine. I, that just adds texture as you're doing it. And this washes right out of this brush. All right. Like I said, get it up on the sleeves. Uh, again, if markers work better for you, definitely use markers. But I'm just doing real simple lettering. We're going to do boo up here. If you want to use a stencil, you certainly could use a stencil. If you have stamps you want to stamp first, you can stamp first, depending how big your stamps are. And then just go over it with your fabric marker or if you're using fabric paint when you're using the stencil, that's fine. Okay, there's your boo. All right, oh, and then I'll also just do like little, little dots in the middle. Or on the ends, we'll do a little dot up here, little dot there. You use the back of a paintbrush for that too. Little dot here. That just makes it so that you know you're not perfect, and it just adds a little bit of fun to it. Do you love it? Awesome! Thank you. All right, so now let's do the spider web. Add a little more black. If the spider web is also really, really easy. Okay, same brush. Just going to draw a line here. Up to the corner. All right, and then we're going to just do round it up like that. All right, we're gonna do it again. 
Again, all really easy painting. This, this part is not hard. And again, if you don't feel you have control with a brush, use a fabric marker. Or draw it on first. All right, let's do... Is that looking like a spider web? Let me know what you think. And let's do one more. And then we're going to do a cute spider and we'll finish the eye too. Okay, on this web, we're also going to do dots on the ends. In the middle. All right, let's do a spider down from here then. We're just going to do a, a web down here. Spiders are going to be easy too. Easy spiders. All right, we're going to do like almost like a circle for a spider. All right, and the legs, we're just going to go up and down. And do that again. And do it again. And this one is going to be more down here. And they don't have to be perfect. So can you do this spider? You think you can do the spider? We're just doing, doing lines. And then this one we'll do there. Okay. Can you see the spider? All right. And let's use the back of a paintbrush. And we're going to do the eyeballs. Uh, we'll just put a dot there. A dot there. All right, and then we're going to go back to um, the black. And I'm just using this kind of brush. You can use whatever brush. You can use the other brush too. I just have it a little wet right now. Okay, I'm just going to draw lines. Maybe add a little white in with it. It doesn't matter. All right. And then, so let me show you the little bit of spackling that we'll do right now. Um, I think we're going to spackle a little bit with purple. What do you think? And then because my segment is getting down, I've got eight minutes left. I can always move down and do more. You can do it up the sleeves. You can do all that. But are you liking it? Are you liking it? Um, all right. So I'm just going to take this brush. It's pretty wet. And we're going to dip it in that purple. And get. And we want that really pretty wet. And you could do the black too, but I think the purple could be sort of fun. And I'm just going to use this. You need something solid. You could use a ruler or whatever. But I'm just going to... Oh, that's fun with the purple. I'll show you. I'll lift it up in a second.
this is so fun. This is so fun. I love, love how this shirt turned out. Let me see. I'm going to continue doing the same down here. Um, and we'll do that. We have a few minutes left. So I'll continue doing that. But let me just see if I can't show you. Turn it around. I'm going to lose my paper in the bottom, though. What do you think? Can you see it? Let's see. Isn't that fun? If I didn't have such a big shirt, I'd be able to um, <laughs> show it all in one, one clip here. <laughs> but isn't that just fun? Do you like it? I'm in love with this shirt. I can't wear it. I wish you could wear it more than for Halloween and or before Halloween. All right, I'm just going to, while we're on here, I'm going to go ahead and just, we got a little time yet, so let's just get, we'll finish painting in here, and we got about five minutes yet. Do you think you can do it? Tell me in the comments if you think you can do it. It's, it's honestly was so easy to draw those lines, and, you know, you can use, Marker you can use if you're a, a sewer you have pencils that you can just make the lines first and you can wet them and the lines go away and I use permanent marker if you got on late I did use permanent marker um, but I it it may not stay if so that's why I go over everything with this fabric paint I'm definitely going to heat set it. I did throw the other one in the dryer. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I got time yet. I'll show you that one in a minute. I threw that one in the dryer, and I probably, I just really want to get a really good heat set on it, so I may iron it too. With these shirts, this, I love the long sleeve t-shirts. Um, this was Hobby Lobby t-shirt, but use again what you have. But just go over all those lines. Like I said, you can definitely do the sleeves. I'll probably play with that too. I have a lot of orders from my Etsy shop to get out today, so I don't know that I'll finish it today, but I'll post pictures when it's completely done. Um, but I'll post maybe just a little teaser picture to all the way down onto there. how much time I have left. I have a, a few minutes yet. Like I said, I do want to grab that other one. It's laying right here. I can show you. It's almost completed. That was a short sleeve t-shirt that I did. Hello, Paula. Thank you. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Yesterday was a day I was just thoroughly thoroughly exhausted I only I had less than four hours of sleep I got home after midnight the night before um, my mom had been in ER but she's okay she's okay but it was a long night for all of us and I mean she was so exhausted yesterday too she just was, didn't feel good yesterday um, but she got out and by the time we got her back and and I came home it was after midnight and I get up at four in the morning so yesterday was a, a Oh, it was a long day, but I'm much better today. I got a little more sleep, a little more, not, not a whole lot. I go to bed late. All right, so that's going to be the start. And like I said, we can do the sleeps. Let me show you. All right, here, okay, here's the t-shirt that I did practice on last night. This is size medium, so I think I'm going to be giving this. I don't know if I can give this to one of my granddaughters, although they might fight over it. But so look at how fun that is. And this one I carried over onto the sleeve where I didn't finish that yet either. And I didn't really do the splatters other than accident splatters. There's some accident splatters in the eyeball. And that's what I thought about doing, um, maybe doing splatters. Let's see. I was going to say you can't even see the eyeball there. Can you see that better? But... And you see all the graying. So I'll be doing more of that with this one and stuff too. But so I hope you enjoyed this project. 
And if you like what I do, you know, you know where I am. All right. Go, go find me over there. And um, I'm Michelle with Crafty Servings. Um, I have Pinterest, Etsy shop, um, and my Facebook page and YouTube. I'm trying to grow YouTube. So um, that needs a lot of help. I'm really, I have to clean it up. My videos are so bad on there. So we're going to do better. So, all right. Do you sell the boost shirts? I have not. I have not thought about it. I haven't thought about it. I haven't even washed one yet, but I know it'll be fine. You just have to wash it to get the sizing up before you do this. And then I'm going to heat set it. So, all right. Thank you so much, y'all. And you have a good one.